All right, students. Uh, so what we're going to show you today is um, a couple features in Desmos. Uh, what you're seeing right now is something I created, uh, and it's actually got, even though it's got several things going on, uh, each thing is actually not that hard to do. Uh, for example, the clouds, the sun, the airplane, those were all uh, just images pulled off the internet, and then they're moving either along a straight line equation, uh, the sun's moving along half a circle, uh, and the plane is just going along a straight line. So all those things are things we'll learn equations for uh, throughout this year, and uh, putting them together and animating them just takes one more step in Desmos. So um, what we're going to focus on today is for what's going on here, all these little repeated lines. The whole idea is I did not create a whole bunch of equations for this. I repeated one equation and just said, do this, do this, do this repeatedly 50 times, or however many times I forget, uh, to get enough, enough lines here. So that's what we're going to show you today. So that's, that's where we're going. So let's start with some, something basic. Um, let's start with sliders. Okay, so if you type y equals mx plus b, m is our slope, b is our y-intercept, as we know. Okay, if you add a slider for m and a slider for b, then you can adjust m, and you can see that the m is the slope, and it's changing the steepness of the line. So we go up to 10, that's very steep, and as we back it down, it's not so steep and get if you get decimals it's even gets flatter and flatter until you get to zero and that's perfectly flat i'm going to do one more thing here i'm going to turn it so it has a little bit darker line i put projector mode for that okay so m changes the slope b changes the y intercept up or down so if you want it at five 4.9 is just, see, there we go, 5. Okay, so if you wanted 5, you slide it over to 5. So you can adjust all these things. So that's what a slider does, and you can have it go up and down, and that's a way that you can get um, something, uh, an animated effect in your um, graph picture that we're going to do in Desmos. Uh, if you put the slider, if you start playing for M, it'll go anywhere from 10 to negative 10, just go backwards and forwards. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Um, so that's, that's what sliders will do. Okay, uh, let's do the same thing, but with a list. So instead of adding uh, um, a slider for M, we're going to do say M equals, and then we're going to use the brackets. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to say list the slopes from one, two, three. In fact, you don't even have to do that. You can go one, two, and it gets the idea, and you go up to 10. And then, oh, it doesn't like that. Sorry, I got oh, too many dots. You only need three dots. Yeah, no. I do not have enough tots. Sorry about that. Okay, so M is a 10 element list going from 1, 2, all the way to 10. So it understands that you're trying to count to 10 here. All right, so we're going to say graph all the different slopes from 1 to 10. And let's take out the B for now. So what it does is now, okay, I'll graph slope 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a quick way to graph all 10. And then you say, oh, you know what? I didn't just want to go up to 10. I wanted to go up to 100. Now, technically, there's 100 lines. And if you zoom way in, you can see that it really did graph a whole bunch of lines. It's just they get, start getting really close together. So kind of cool. That's how you can quickly graph 100 lines and make that kind of effect where... Oops, let's see if I can zoom out. Try and zoom out here. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's one way you can get like 100 lines real quickly. Okay. Now let's do this. Instead of M... Let's do that same thing with B. So we'll make our list now called it B. And this is now going to say all graphs with a slope of 1, because that's 1x, plus, and then B. So this will go from 1 to 100. And as we zoom out, you'll see there's going to be 100 lines here. So it's got a line at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 100. If we zoom out, it'll go all the way up to 100. So that's a quick way to create 100 parallel lines. Or go back to 10 with one click. So now you know lists and you can generate a whole bunch of parallel lines, uh, a whole bunch of lines with uh, varying slopes, things like that. Um, and again, lists are good for things you want static on the screen instead of being animated. Uh, one other thing we can quickly change, let's say, oh, you know, that one went the wrong direction. Let's go, bam. Oh, sorry, negative, the other direction. Positive, negative. So positive slope, positive slope, negative slope, positive slope, negative slope, so things like that, once you know how to control these things, and you say, oh, okay, well, how about this? Well, if we're creating another grid and take out the negatives, now we've got crisscrosses. You know, you got a whole intersection here. 
So once you know how to do this, that's just two equations and a list of elements here, and now you've got a grid. So really easy to create stuff on here once you know just a few little tricks. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you uh, with the first step on creating a wonderful, awesome Desmos picture.